Hey, welcome back to Vossnet Gaming. I'm Vossman, and we're doing another two minute review. This time, we're taking a look at the early release of Tin Can. So, let's jump over to the Steam page and see what we've got. So, yeah, on the Steam page, it says Beware, space travelers. Surviving aboard the Tin Can is no trivial matter. Without a good look at the pod manual and patience, the only thing awaiting you is a cold or hot cosmic death. Consider yourselves warned and good luck. And I'm floating in my tin can. So what's this game all about? Well you've just escaped your mothership in a space escape pod and now you're floating through the hazardous realms of space without a clue where you're headed so until you get picked up you're on your own. Now space is big and it's all out to kill you so it's throwing asteroids, nebulae and even a star at you from time to time and your little space tin can is the only thing keeping void of space at bay so you've got to look after it. Now as the pod takes damage from the events outside you'll hear alarms and signs that something is wrong and you need to figure out a way to get it fixed ASAP. Every second counts. Remember there's no tech support hotline in deep space. So you've got to control everything from the atmosphere inside the pod to the temperature and the power levels and everything else you need to survive long enough to be saved and who knows how long that will be. Now when you first jump into the pod you have no idea what everything does. You need to read the manual and pull things apart and check the components and work out what you can do without. So I've managed to die from hypoxia, radiation sickness and temperatures in this game and despite all that I still keep getting back into the pod and see how much longer I can survive. So you need to adjust your tactics and try different things to see if it will extend your life expectancy in the pod. So there's not much more to this game other than basically how can you survive in a pod in space for as long as you can. The pod isn't all that big you can see so it doesn't take too long to get to know your floating space container. Despite this the game is very engaging and I find myself always wanting to try and do better next time. Whatever you do don't open the hatch. Now this is the early release of the game and so I'm sure there will be some tweaks and bug fixes coming along but that said the game doesn't feel particularly unfinished in any way and I have enjoyed killing a few hours playing this. So overall I think Tin Can is well worth a look if you're into problem and puzzle solving however unless there are some features that get introduced into this game that's going to change it up in the future I can see that it will lose its appeal after a little while and therefore it gets a 7 out of 10 on the Vosnet scale of excellence. Well, there it is. Another two minute review done for you guys. I hope you found it entertaining. I hope you found it useful. Be sure to check out the other two minute reviews on this channel. And also, why not flip on over to the gameplay footage as well? There's loads of Among Us in there now, which I think you'll find quite funny and entertaining. I certainly do. Anyway, with that said, you take care of yourselves out there. Be good to each other. Be kind. And I'll see you in the next one. This is Vossman, signing out.